Hello and welcome to Pensacola, Florida. This is The Bus Life. right now is amazing. Many of you have asked why we don't have solar panels on our bus and that's one thing we're addressing today because we're going to be installing finally a solar panel on top of the good news bus and we want to show you how we're going to do it. So this is it. This is the Bose RV 180 watt solar panel um, and this is what we're going to be installing today. You got a permit for that? That's what's great about bus life. You don't need permits. The other main piece you're going to need for this puzzle is a solar charger. I also got this from Bose RV. I'm going to have the link to all of these items in the video description so you can just go there if you want to do a similar setup to what we're doing. These solar mounting brackets, these will enable you to mount the solar panel to the roof. The other thing you're going to need is this double cable entry box. This will enable you to have a sealed entry point for your cable to come into the bus or RV. I actually picked this cable up at a, a solar store that sells solar panels. They had it on a roll. You could buy it by the foot. You're gonna need some of that. Let's get the solar panel installed. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off our fridge vent, which is broken. Wow. Looks like I need a new uh, fridge vent cover here, and I see the piece of tree that did it. Probably up in Colorado. Thank you. So we're at my parents' place here. And we're gonna be leaving here soon and heading up to possibly South Carolina and then possibly back to Kentucky. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mount this. And this allows us to bring our wires into the inside here. So I'm gonna take uh, my hole saw and drill a hole. Wow, I'm actually impressed. I'm using my new DeWalt 12 volt lithium ion drill. So we're using a 3 8 push in connector. So we'll push our connector in there and then we'll be able to feed our wires through without any chance of those wires getting cut by the metal. We just wanna leave enough wire up here for our connectors to, to hook onto. Push these through. Putty tape, it makes a very nice seal. And just bring this. So then this can sit down just like that. Press this down on there. All right, today we're using a three quarter inch self tapping screw to just attach this down to make sure it stays. And you wanna push it down till that starts to ooze just a little bit. Now you wanna make sure and tighten these down because they have a grommet in them that will tighten around the wire. They actually give you a wrench to tighten these down. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these wires about here. And there you're gonna have to get yourself some of these connectors you can get them online I'll also put a link for these in the video description these allow you to plug right into the solar panels and we're gonna connect our wires into that the white we're gonna connect to our negative and then the black is gonna be our positive Yeah. 
So now we got our wire connectors done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get our solar panel up here and install it. So the next thing we need to do is get our brackets mounted to our solar panel and then go ahead and install the solar panel. I don't want to boast too much of this amazing weather we're in right now. T-shirt weather, beautiful, 55, 60 degrees out. It's nice. The next thing I'm going to do is put a strip of this putty tape to cover these holes so that when I put my self-tapping screws through it, it will be sealed. This stuff is nasty. Look at this stuff. It'll act as a little buffer. Over. What we're doing right now is just making sure that this solar panel is square to the roof. All right, our solar panel is installed. And there's a little girl down there. Hi. What are you doing? Before I get down, I'm gonna go ahead and run this wire down because we're gonna have a wire come out of the solar controller that then goes into the batteries and that's how the batteries are charged. So the only thing we need to do before we could seal this back up is go ahead and drill our hole in here for a wire to go into our solar controller. and then drill a hole over here into the kitchen where it will run a remote wire from the solar controller to the remote display. It's gonna come through this and then through here into the controller. Go Ashton, what are you doing? So we should be able to go ahead and close this up and then run the rest of our wire and wire in our solar controller from the inside. Solar controller remote is installed. Now I'm gonna go on the other side in the cabinet and install the solar controller. So the reason I had to do the solar controller so close to the remote is the wire on this is not very long. Wherever this was gonna be, I had to put the solar controller close to that. I've also gone ahead and put a bunch of silicone around the wires here to stop any drafts. So next I'm gonna go ahead and mount the solar controller. I got our solar controller attached, and now I just need to wire these wires up to it. As I got all the wires put in, now I just need to connect the remote into the remote jack. So I actually reached out to Bose RV and let them know that we are installing their solar panel with the solar controller and they offered me a special, only for our Bus Life fans, coupon code. I'm gonna put that in the video description. It'll give you a percentage off. Check that out, you can save some money. All right guys, the last thing we have to do is run our cable that's coming from our solar controller to our batteries. Let's do it. Hey 
guys, so we are in the final stages here. We got our wire pulled through. This is actually the port that was used for my portable solar uh, panel. I'm gonna connect one of these clips to the other end of this, and then I could just plug the two together and we should be live. One thing I wanna say, it's a good idea to put an inline fuse on the positive side of your wire. The moment I plug this in, we'll have the solar panel charging our batteries. All right guys, well I hope that helps some of you who are looking to do uh, a solar panel on your bus conversion or RV. Um, it's really not a difficult install. Um, also be sure to check out the links I have in the video description, discounts I have in the video description to get all the, the products you'll need to do something similar to that on your rig. But we are actually packing up right now and getting ready to head somewhat north. So we're leaving Florida today. Hopefully we'll see some of you guys on the road. God bless, bye.